Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about split columns in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you have not yet subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. I have opened a Power BI report and in that I went to this Power Query Editor using the Home tab Edit Queries option. And then I have opened a table here, Orders table. In the Home tab itself, you will find an option Split Column. If you click on this small arrow, you will have these seven options are there. We will go through one by one. So I have selected this column. customer ID so I am going to split it by delimiter specify the delimiter used to split the text column not only it just splits the column it also understands the data which is available it automatically detects it is the custom and it has an hyphen so that we can split it by each hyphen there is options available here colon comma equal sign semicolon space tab or custom so custom would be hyphen so split at the left most delimiter the right most delimiter or each occurrence of the delimiter you can select either three of these option if you go to advanced option you will have this option like split into columns or rows so number of columns to split is two and the code the character is this one split using special character if there is any special character something like unique code we can use it there so tab carriage return line feed return line feed non-breaking space i don't want to do that now so click ok it just split the column into two customer id one and two not only that it also changed the data type this is a string and this into integer so look at this at the right side the history which is keeping on updating split columns by delimiter and this change type i am deleting this one to go back okay now i have selected this sheep mode and again i want to go by delimiter it understands the data and it automatically directs that is the spaces available in between these cells. So okay. It just fits to one and two columns. It is also changing the type. I want to remove this one as well. What will happen if we select it by row? So delimiter advanced option going it by row and okay let's have a look at that oh this is just beautiful it just splits the row into two with the duplicate values only the change in the shipment mode this is awesome really the power query is really powerful Okay, I'm just split going back again. So now the number of characters. If you want to select the number of characters, say for example, every three I'm just selecting. Once as far left as possible, once as far as right as possible. If you go to the left side, only one is split will be there. So three characters on the left and rest of them will move on to next column. So have a look at that. So three characters with the rest of the in the second column. Okay. So what I want to do is again this number of characters. Repeatedly, I will want to select it repeatedly. So going for four, split in by column number of columns to split into if you take this one the standard class 
standard class he has 13 characters so if you want to split it by 4 check i want to split it by 2 let's have a look what it will give the output oh it truncates the data i just split the columns into two and the rest of the data has been truncated hmm. this is how smart it is again i want to make it by number of characters and want to put it four and in columns i want to put it five let's have a look at what it will do one two three four five and rest of the columns are null 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 okay i want to delete this one as well So that's our third option by position. It understands the data and gives the output like 0, 2. So let's do that from 0 to 1. From 0 to 2, 1, and OK. It has character and this one okay as well. So, what I will do again? I want to go back to this one and split by position 0 to 2, comma 3. So, it is just in the three columns. Where first, the two, first, one, first one is the character, second one is the hyphen, and the third one is the number. That's a super cool. So, again, I'm selecting this one by lower case to upper case and the third one is the next one is by upper case to lower case right so i want to select again this one and the split column by upper case to lower case so it just splits this one and this it didn't understand correctly so i'm selecting it again the shipment mode column upper case to lower case So it splits the data to standard class to S is separate and then it all combines small characters, I mean lower character and once it is reached the upper character that is class C, so again it splits. So deleting this one. The same will apply the lower case to upper case. It will first search for the lower case if it is not available and it's not going to split. See? not going to split this column because there are at the starting point there is no lower character only the s start with upper character and c also start with upper character right so there is no small characters at the starting of the column so it's not going to split this column deleting again and from digit to non-digit digit to non-digit first of all we need uh, at the starting point with the digit so what I will do, I will just click on this one, add column from example, 2019-15205, so it lies here, right? So I will keep this one, okay now. So I'm going to split this column from digit to non-digit, right? I will click on that, it also direct the digit and then place the column into two the digit and non digit whereas if you do this one for customer id from non digit to digit because the starting of this every cell is a non digit so it takes the non digit separate and digit to separate one so these are the features available in split columns in power query editor these are just awesome features they have given here if you like this video Please click on the big thumbs up button and if you are new to this channel or if you are not yet subscribed to this channel please click on the subscribe button also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries feedback post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video